everybody, David here with Shadow Six Creations. We're continuing the work on the Tamiya 148 scale Supermarine Spitfire Mark I. Um, we've got a few things that we're going to be working on tonight. So this may be a little bit of a long video. I'm not too certain yet. We'll get a feel for it. Um, in the last video, we worked to get the gauges and the dashboard display put together for the actual for the cockpit um, we've already got the shell of it put together um, so what we're going to be working on tonight are these two sections now something you need to keep in mind this next portion we're also dealing with the metal pieces that um, we had to use to put together for one of the gauges in the previous video so we do need to work with these um, as usual I will say when you're working with a sharp instrument, please be careful. Don't cut yourself. Your fingers are definitely more valuable than your than your kit. Now, in addition to, to this, we're also going to need a hand drill of some kind. If you have one, great. That'll, that's definitely going to be something that we're going to need. If not, you can improvise. Um, you can even use the point of an X-Acto knife. So looking at these two sections right here is what we're going to be working on. Um, the one thing you need to pay attention to, if it has A, B, and C like it does here, or if it just says A or C, blah, 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 whatever the case may be, um, that is indicating what pattern you're going with, uh, for the aircraft. So if you're doing, like I am, if you're doing the 1940, uh, Battle of Britain paint scheme and pattern, then you would go with A. So keep in, keep that in mind. Now, um, what we're going to be working on tonight is getting the rest of the cockpit put together. Um, as we need to, we will be doing the metal pieces. So once we get to that step, I will slow down a little bit more and we can go over that. Because we also still have to get the pilot ready for the straps and everything else. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be working in this first portion with uh, the A sprue and the G sprue. So the A sprue is going to have all of the small components on it. G is uh, right here. Now this will be the G sprue. This is going to be the one that we're working on. So let's go ahead and get ready um, and start getting more pieces put together. Okay. So the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to go ahead and get um, this main component out. Just the backing of the cockpit, which is going to be this piece right here. We are going to need both of these, but we're going to go, we're going to start small. So uh, from there, let's go ahead and grab, um, let's go ahead and grab the components that we need. So... Okay. Now, the other thing I want to point out before we get too far, it is going to tell you that little pieces that come off these parts will be cut off, just little leftovers from when they were casting the resin. Okay. So to kind of point out, it's these little pieces right here. So we just pop those off, don't have to worry about them. Okay. Now, this whole piece is going to be that cockpit green. Um, I've improvised the color to um, to put down on the actual components. Um, I'd very recommend, I definitely recommend that you use something like clamping tweezers or a alligator clip to hold on to that while you're painting. It's no big deal. It's just going to protect... You know your fingers and protect the components. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um, let's see here. Ah, there's my brush. Okay. I'm just going to give this a quick painting. Okay. 
button in place while we're doing that. Okay. So we'll let that sit over here for a moment. Um, now what we're going to do from here is these other components are going to be need to be the same color. Some of them are going to be um, different colors in the background. So let's take a look here. So we've got our seat. We've got the side pieces. I believe these are armor plating. I cannot remember off the top of my head, sadly. Um, so what we're going to be doing, I'm going to pop that off. We're going to start with the chair. The chair is going to be um, part of this whole assembly. So um, what we're going to do now is get these components. We're going to glue those to the side of the chair. Okay. We're not going to need a whole lot for uh, a whole lot of glue for this side. There is a little notch that this piece is going to be going on. So again, the importance of dry fitting. Just like that. Okay. So from here, I'm going to do a little bit of dry fitting. Okay, let's get this glue. We'll get everything cleaned off. Okay, there we go. I had to clean off the tip of the glue. Now, that is just going to sit just like that. Oop. Make sure it doesn't get stuck to your fingers. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put a little bit extra on the bottom just to hold it in place. It's being a little finicky. So we got the one piece on. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Oh, bump the camera. Just going to pop that off the, sp the sprue. Okay. Now, same thing. Just a little bit of glue, not too much. And we're going to stand that up and just slide that into position. Okay. There is the start of our pilot seat. Okay. Now we're going to set that down and let that dry. Now this component is going to be seated. It's going to be glued directly to the back of this piece so these notches are going to be pointing out just like we're doing in the picture and then we're just going to dry fit and make sure bam just like that that's how it's going to look i have not glued this in place because we have not yet painted it um but honestly i think i'm just going to go ahead and glue it into well no because i got to paint the back of this so we're going to go ahead and look at our colors that we're going to need for the paint and then uh, we're going to paint the back side first, and then we're actually going to glue it in place. Um, that way we have everything ready to go. And then we'll be able to start working on the other component. Okay, so if we're looking at the, if you're looking at your paints, so you're going to need XF64 for the seat. That is a red brown, but in this case, um, my red brown has actually not arrived. So I'm actually going to be using a leather brown. So, from here. Alright. 
little bit of that. And just going to paint the back side. And then I'm also going to get the front. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to get. There we go. Leather brown, it's one of my go to colors. Okay. Now, since that portion is already done, I'm going to go ahead and get this glued in position because these frames, these frame pieces, are going to be the same color. So, now that we have this just about dry, we're going to go ahead and get this glued into place. Okay. I'm not going to do a whole lot again. Okay. So then this is going to seat right into those two slots. And it's going to glue right into place. Okay. So there is the makings of our seat. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of that painted. Um, not gonna take long. There it is. Get the rest of this painted and ready to go because we have one more component at the top and then we also have to drill some slots out. So, let's go ahead and give this its color. There we go, looking nice, coming along. Okay, just about there. I'm going to need to put a whole lot on, on that bottom part because that's where the pilot is going to sit. And I am going to have the pilot in. Okay, now we've got that. Now the other side, the other front piece that we have to do, there's a lip that is on the seat. We need to paint that. Let me get this. XF6 is copper. So, um... Oh, goodness gracious, where did I set it? There it is. Copper. Just a simple, real quick dab of it. Not going to need a whole lot as I put out a big dollop of it. Oh, well. Okay, now we've got the copper on there. Okay, now we have two other pieces. These are going to be coming off of the G-sprue. Okay. That's going to be these two right here. Now those are going to clamp on to the very top. Right up here. Okay. So, from there, let's double check our paint color. which is gonna be black. So we're just gonna do just regular black on it. Um, so let's pop these off very carefully. Now this one is gonna go on the back side. This one is gonna go on the front side. So uh, working quickly, that way we don't lose any components. Okay. Now this is a very tiny piece. So that being said, ah, there's my angle tweezers. To grab my non clamping tweezers. I 
and pop that right into place. Just like that. Okay. Now we have one more piece. It's a very, very small piece that goes on the front. Okay. Oh, that's why I was looking at the wrong sprue. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Right here. We're going to be using this piece. That is going to go directly on the front, and then we're going to paint those black. There we go. Okay. Both of those are in place and drying. I'm going to quickly grab some glue or some, some black paint. There it is. And then we'll just dab on a little bit of black. I guess it'll help if I shook the bottle up a little bit better. Okay, detailing brush and just a real quick paint. I can hear the clickety clack of Rashi Paws, and here comes the dog. She gets bored very quickly being in here. Okay, there we go. All right, now, moving on. Now from here, this is where we start to use these silver pieces. So these are the metal pieces that we use to put together the little gyroscope that went in, that went above the gauges, or below the gauges, excuse me. So this is what we're gonna be using here. Okay. So let's get in here and take a look. Now, these are kind of overlapping. So one is going to be going directly across the lap. The other one is going to be hanging over. So you can bend these. You just need to be extremely, extremely careful. So we're going to look at, we're going to do the one that's up front first. So this is going to be A8. So now that is going to be this small one right here. That's going to go on the bottom. That's going to be flat. This one is going to bend up over onto the seat. Now, being very careful because of how thin these are, um, you're going to need to cut these apart. And they're, oh, wow, that worked quite well. Okay, now if you're careful, take a set of tweezers. to move that out of the way and then you need to be very careful again okay now you see how that's bending a little bit on me that's where you need to be careful okay there we go and this is how tiny that piece is So now the flat side is going to be laying on the seat. Now very carefully I'm going to twist that back into shape. So it's just a little, I mean, and these are so, 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 so thin. So you've got to be very, very careful. Now we're going to go ahead and dry fit this. Now this slides in, there's a little notch right there. That's where that's going to slide in. Now, 
I'm going to be extremely careful. We're going to dab a little bit of glue in there, just enough. Okay, that's a little bit excessive, but that's okay. You can actually take and move some of that glue across there so it'll stick. And then, I'm going to sit it down. And I'm going to press that into place. Come on. You get out of the frame for a second because it's kind of hard to see it. There we go. Okay. It's going to be a little bit of trouble here. So this is where we really have to be careful. Now, okay, there we go. Now, on our first piece in there. Now the second piece is going to be, the second piece is going to mold down. So, let's go ahead and get that one ready. I just want to make sure they have everything set on the first one. Okay, there we go. Now, the second one. We're going to need to be exceptionally, exceptionally careful. If we're careful, we're going to cut that off. Okay, just like this. Now I'm just using the very edge of the knife. Okay, there we go. Now, the second piece is going to be right behind the one that we just did. So I'm going to lay down just a little bit of glue in the actual seat and use my knife to kind of spread that out, keep that in place. Okay, and what we're going to do first is we're going to kind of get this bent into shape very carefully. Just like that. Now I'm going to press that in. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. Press that in, and then I'm going to fold it down. There's our seat belt. Okay? going to be a little finicky with how small these pieces are don't get discouraged it's all part of the process okay now we're moving on to the next component so this is going to be a little bit um let me go back so the next part that we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on this and I have it set up the way that it's supposed to look when, uh, when we're putting the pieces together. So the first thing we need is, depending on if you're doing a closed or an open canopy, will determine the piece that you're needing off of this. Okay. So the piece that I'm going to be using, so if you're doing a closed canopy, it's going to be A13. If you're doing an open canopy, it's going to be A15. There is a very slight difference. At the very top of the one that's going to be a closed canopy, there's a little notch. 
Now that is the one that I'm going to be using. So being very, very careful, I'm using A13. I'm going to cut that free. There's the first one, second one. We'll push that out and twist. Twist it a couple times and then just pop it off just like that. Okay. You have to be very careful to clean off a couple pieces. I'm going to set that right there. Now you do have to paint this. Um, and the color on that one, let me see if I can remember what it was. Uh, is bare metal silver. So I'm just going to keep that the way it is, honestly. If it's going to be the same color, if it's just going to be bare metal silver, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Now, that being said, our next piece that we need is um, on the A sprue, it's going to be this back piece. So this will, this is going to have you paint it bare metal silver. Now, I'm not painting the metal piece because it's already bare metal um, so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is okay and I'm gonna pump that off and then this is gonna be this is gonna glue right onto the back of this component that we put together but this piece needs to go on first so we have to glue that into place So, nope, nope, wrong way. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to see on here. But right here and right here, there's a couple of tabs. That is where the, that metal piece is going to glue onto. So, I am only going to use just a little tiny bit of glue in each spot and I'm going to put one at the top as well just for security and then I'm going to take and grab that and then I'm going to sit it move it into position and there we go okay Gonna move that up just slightly. Okay. And then from there, that is gonna go right behind. So we're gonna get this piece seated in first. Now this piece is going to, oh, nope, I put that on the wrong way. This piece is going to seat right here. Let me get, it's a little hard to see. There we go. So that whole, this whole piece, the seat is going to seat right behind or right in front of the tanks. Okay. So after doing some dry fitting, we're going to glue right there. A little bit of glue right there. And then, being very, very careful, that is just going to slide down and seat. Just like that. Now, the piece that we just put the metal, the metal on, which did not seat the way I wanted it to, so let's try to adjust that a little bit. Okay. That is going to go directly behind it. And that is going to seat. Just like that. There we go. That's how that's going to seat. Now. Go ahead and get our glue. Wow. 
Tuolla. There we go. Now, um, what we're supposed to do in this next piece is this is going to be going on with the pilot. So what we're going to do now, um, let me look this over. So this is going to seat in the very, this is going to seat behind, this is going to go under, that piece is going to go under here and it's going to attach to the very back. So from here, uh, that's going to drive me up a wall. Give me just one moment. Okay. So this again, we're going back to the metal pieces. This piece is going to go under, and then this is actually going to bend up for when we put the pilot in. So it's going to look like this. Okay. Now, let's grab those pieces. So this is A3. That is going to be this one right here. Now, it wants us to paint that. And the paint on that is probably going to be like a brownish color. Khaki close enough. Now, let me grab my khaki color. As soon as I can find out exactly where I put it. Aha, here we are. Khaki. Now, I'm actually going to do this first. I'm going to get this seated into position. I'm going to seat it and I'm going to bend it up the way it needs to before I actually paint. So this is going to go. Ooh, almost dropped that. That's not good. Okay. There's a little tab right up here. That's where that's going to seat. It's very difficult to see on this back piece. But once you're able to position it, like I just miraculously did, it will seat the way you're going to need. So... Okay, so it's dry fitting. Let's go ahead and dab. On top, there we go. Okay, so. Now that does have to go under and up. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to move... Okay, there we go. Now that. Oh boy. Stuck to my finger. Okay, let's reset that. Give me a little bit of trouble, so give me a moment here, and I'll bring that back into there. We go, just like that, and and that's what we need for the strap. Now there are a few more things that we need to do. Um, we're gonna need to let everything dry for now, and then we're gonna need to get the pilot all done up. So we're gonna let this dry for a bit. Um, our pilot. The pilot is going to be fairly quick and easy to put together. So he's majority of him is already put together. There's his head. Um, it's not going to be difficult at all. This is on the A sprue. So I'm going to pop him off. And we're going to get his head on. And then from there, we're going to get his uniform. Okay, there's our pilot. Now, I forgot to trim his head down. Here's our pilot. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna get our pilot's colors put on him 
and uh, then we will be getting him seated and putting the last component on for the cockpit. Okay. So now, from here, got a bunch of different colors. So his base uniform color. Just a moment here, let's go back to, our, to the front. So it looks like that our pilot's going to be having a field blue. Yes. So field blue. I actually have that color. And oh, that's not it. Nope, that's sky blue. Field blue. So we're going to paint our pilot the field blue. Um, so let's go ahead and get that started on him. So it'll take a little bit of color to get him all painted up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put down a put down the field blue as a base coat, and then from there we can paint the other colors and the other components as we need. Now he's moving around a little bit on me, so. Okay. Now, this is where you're going to need a good detailing brush, just like we've been doing with our German infantry. Um, especially for some of the straps and everything else that we're going to need to be doing. Now, I'm painting him all blue. The reason being is I want to put down a base coat, and then from there... As he dries, once he dries, we can add the other colors. Now, you can just paint his uniform and then do the individual colors, blah, blah, blah. But for me, I like to just paint, get down a base coat, and then go from there. All right. So he is ready. There's his base coat. Now, it's going to take a few minutes for this to dry. And in the meantime, we're going to look at these other, so look at some of the other components that we're going to need. There's one more component that's going to go directly above, uh, directly above the cock or the the seat. Now we're not actually going to glue that on. Okay, so that that is not being glued on. Now uh, this is for. Uh, this is for when we when we're getting the pilot put in place and it's going to be a close canopy So let's get this to dry real quick Go ahead and let that dry. We'll come back and we'll get that taken care of Okay, there we go. So let's continue um, Getting our pilot all done up. So we've got his base coat on um, Let's go ahead and start getting the rest of his paint colors going on so boots, that's probably going to be just like a black or a leather brown. So that's XF1, which is flat black. So that was usually the color that you would see with uh, the British pilots at that time. So it makes sense that it would just be the black. Now, oh, I've already got the black right there. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this black. We're just going to quickly get his boots all done up. You can imagine what the temperatures were like in these aircraft for when they were flying at tens of thousands of feet. Uh, B-17 pilots, they dealt with absolutely mind-numbing, horrible cold when they were 30,000 feet or so. And some of those missions were 10, 12, 14, 16 hours at a time. So it it wasn't until they came out with B-29 when the B-29 uh, would actually provide their pilots with electrically heated suits and a pressurized cabin. So 
big, 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 big change from what they had in the B in the B seventeens during the Battle of Britain bombing campaigns. You know, it just just a massive, massive difference. Okay, so we've got that into place. Now let's look at some of these. So now to give you some perspective, these are all the colors that we got to do for our pilot. So a little bit of work to be done on him. So let's go ahead and look at his helmet. So his helmet is um, XF-64. XF-64, that is red-brown. But again, um, I am substituting the leather brown. Okay. So using my detailing brush, let me go ahead and get that helmet painted. There we go. All right, double check. So he's also got his gloves. I forgot about those. So his gloves are also going to be leather brown. Okay. So from there, let's go ahead and look at his flight gear. So his flight gear is going to be a couple of different colors. We've got quite a few different colors, I should say. So let's go ahead and see if we can get an idea of what exactly we've got going on. Uh, here we go. So looking at his flight gear, um, the first colors that we really need to go for... Um, We've got neutral gray, we've got khaki, we've got um, quite a few different options going on for our pilot. So the khaki is actually going to be his flight vest. Um, let's get that. So khaki, it's um, just a light greenish brown color. Nothing too extravagant. Okay. Getting his flight vest. There we go. Sounds like my dog is outside the door snoring her head off again. Silly dog. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got his flight vest. Now we're going to get that little centerpiece as well because that's where his flight vest is. All right. Now. XF-53, so that is our neutral gray, um, and I do have a neutral gray, or something like a sky gray would work as well. So that is our silver, this is sky gray. So to give you an idea, that's sky gray, it's a really, really light color. Now if I can't find my, my neutral gray right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and use that. As a matter of fact, I do believe I'm out. Of neutral gray. Oh, ho, ho. so this is our neutral gray, and that is our sky gray. So we're gonna go with what it calls for. Okay, so we gotta get a little bit of neutral gray, and the neutral gray is gonna be going on. Let's take a look at this. Okay, it will be going on his lapels. Okay. Going right here. I don't know 
his oxygen mask. Now keep in mind too, we are going to be doing a wash and some highlighting on him. So don't, don't freak out if he's looking terrible right now or if he's not looking what you're expecting. That's okay. We will be doing a wash and getting some good, uh, good heavy color on him. Now, um, silver, that is one of the other colors that is going to be going on some of his, uh, some of the straps and buttons, or excuse me, some of the metal points on our pilot. So we'll be doing one right down here and this handle. Okay. Nothing too extravagant. Now the straps that are coming across his chest, that's for if I that's for like his parachute and everything like that. Um let me look at this a little bit closer. That's gonna be XF49. Which again is the khaki. So we will be able to get that all over on his straps as well. Now I'm trying not to use too much because it's, yeah, it's already starting to wash it out. So too much is gonna wash out the details. Now, because I wanna have some more detail looking at his straps and such, I'm actually gonna go against what the instructions are telling me. I want the straps to stand out. So I'm gonna mix just a little bit with the khaki to give it kind of a lighter brown color. Now it's it's not coming out the way I want to because the paint, um, because my paint is a little thinner than what I want. So I will be able to touch that up and fix that a little bit more. Um, and again, with the wash, that's gonna help us pinpoint and be able to bring out details on him as well. Now, one of the last things I'm going to use, um, and again, with when I'm doing pilots that are in the aircraft, I don't tend to do a lot of heavy detail um, because I prefer it to focus on the actual aircraft. Now, some people will be like, well, then why don't you just leave the pilot out? No, the pilot needs to be there as part of the kit to kind of give you an idea of what what the crews had to face you know what they look like at the time okay now from here what we're going to do is we're going to seat him oh i missed one part okay so we also need to paint the seat which is also right there. Get his seat painted. Okay. All right. I'm going to let him dry for a minute. Now we're going to look at a couple other things on here. So to recap, what we've gotten so far is the straps, we've gotten the seat, we've got our gauges, we do have to paint um, the back piece of the cockpit real fast. That's not going to take us long at all to give our pilot a chance to start drying. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we also have to do the straps, but I am not going to do the straps until our pilot is seated in place. All right. Now comes the part to give our character, to give our pilot's 
um, detail to make them stand out a little bit more. I'm going to be using a black wash. Not a whole lot, but enough to bring out the folds and details of our pilot. So I'm going to take my shade brush and then this is what we've done in other videos. Go. Blow a little bit of that excess off. There we go. So now that's going to make it look like he's got a lot of shade on him, you know, being in the cockpit, it's going to throw shadows. So um, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit him in the cockpit and we're going to let him dry before we put the rest of everything on. Um, now, once he's in his seat, that's when I'm going to start doing the highlighting um, to give him a chance to dry and let everything start coming together. So. There we go. All right. Now, from there, we have one more piece that we have to put on, but I'm not going to do that until we're ready to seat him in the cockpit. So from here, the only thing that we're going to have to do is get these last metal pieces in place, which are going to be right here, number two. Now we're going to need to bend these in place, so they're, they're going to have to fold over on themselves. Okay, so we got one, two, Bent that out of shape. There we go. Now, when I say these are going to fold, there we go. So these are just going to simply fold over, just like that. And then these are going to be going right between the pilot's legs and they will be sitting in place. We're going to glue that in place and then he's going to be all set. Okay, so a little bit of glue. As a matter of fact, we'll dab it on with the end of the exacto knife. Okay, and then those will fold down. Now I'm just getting this seated in place so everything can dry and then from there we're going to be able to get everything set and in place. So let's go ahead and work on flipping these up. We're going to need to be very very careful. And then these are going to come down now. Whoop. So I don't want to mess with this too much tonight. Reason being is I want to make sure that these metal pieces have time to sit and dry in place. And then from there, we're going to bring down the straps and make it look like he's seated in. So um, from here, in the next video, we are going to finish up the pilot and we're going to start 
getting the main fuselage uh, spray painted for its um, base coat to start getting the camouflage pattern on. Now, I will have to be heading up north on Tuesday to start getting ready for my surgery. So, it is quite possible that it is going to be some time before we get the rest of this done. So, what we're going to do, um, we're going to wait and come back and get some more of this done. We'll try to get as much as we can, but I don't want to rush anything on this and take away from the quality and, and the details of this aircraft. So, we'll let this dry, we'll come back, and we'll continue putting it together. So, if you're following along, this is where we're at now. Please like and subscribe the video. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm very... It's very nice to see everybody watching these videos. I love that. I love the comments that I'm getting. I hope this is helping you. So from there, have a good night. We'll see you later.